today from Nissan Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee. It's a special Saturday edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Texans offense ready to see if they can keep building on this long winning streak. And the focal point of the offense, as it's been all year, is... They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. The numbers for him from a week ago. Charles, how do you think he ran the football? I thought he definitely had his moments. I did think that they could have utilized him a little bit better, and I'm definitely going to keep an eye on him to see how they're going to use him this week. Play action now. Mills. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. And now here's a carry heading left. Oh, able to avoid him. And he's got Rome. They're trying to tiptoe the pylon, but they're going to say he stepped out at the one-yard line. 59 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. A lot of running backs, a little bit of a disadvantage when you start talking MVP. Might not be the case this year. You think he's got a shot, don't you? I do. I think he's got more than a shot. But what he's going to need here down the stretch this late in the season, he needs that. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Andy Janovich, his fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Texans are on the board first here this afternoon. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. And they, on paper, Charles, no doubt they have the edge in this one. They are sitting with the AFC elite. And on the other side, they're down toward the bottom of the AFC. But you know what they say, especially at this point in the season, watch out for a trap game. And in doing so, I would take my game plan and condense it. I would rely on my fundamentals, the fact that my players are probably just better and not try and do too much. Do just enough to win the game. And on the other side of the field, I'm doing everything. Every trick play I can think of, every different formation, you name it, I'm throwing it at them in order to try and get the upset win. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he's going to take it and right down Broadway. 20. Touchdown, Houston. A great effort there. 70 yards. And the Texans are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are. But this team is truly a threat to score on every snap especially on the first few plays of any series. And a big strike like that, that only adds to their reputation as the league's best offense. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's already cruised past the 100-yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not want halftime. <laughs> all right, why cool off? Keep well, everybody here. <laughs> let's stay out on the field and keep going. But all that being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. And obviously his vision and legs have hurtled him to this big number so far. We could be seeing something really special here. And we'll see how much they give him the ball here. And some space here. Gets around him. And he's going to step out of bounds all the way down on the other side of midfield. A huge play there 
for Houston. 43 yards. Reminder that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll check in with Jonathan Coachman from Orlando. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play. On first and ten, Mills. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. Touchdown, Texans! Philip Dorsett. His second touchdown on the season as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Week after week, Charles, when we see this offense operate, I don't know, they just seem to get more impressive. They certainly do, and let's face it, it's no surprise they're the best in the NFL in scoring. This team designs things well and executes even better. And here, it only takes a few snaps before they're in the end zone. That's how they demoralize teams. That's how they put them on notice. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. Might he be on his way to a record-setting performance here, Charles? Second quarter and the yardage number already ridiculous. And they always talk about just focusing on the next play, but sometimes it's okay to dream big yeah. because they... I'm focusing on the fourth quarter already. <laughs> I... Listen, I don't blame you, though, because we could be witnessing some type of history here, and it's being done by him... And, of course, the big guys up front who are creating the holes for him to run through. Yeah, they've all been good so far. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Give him 32 on the play. They go play action. Mills. He's going to air it out for Dorsett. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown. 